show you the difference between string buffer and string builder. So we read in from keyboard. So let me read in from keyboard. I just put the uh, 30 characters. So it's going to show the capacity as 34. Right? And the length is 30. Now how about string builder? So string builder let me put the text before I read it in. That's going to show the version, which is string builder version. String builder. So I'm going to have the stream of 30 characters. So 34, 30. It's exactly the same between string builder and string buffer. So the difference is string buffer is good in the multi threads, right? using the threads where you string buffer. Alright, so let's test with the insert. So if you want to insert something like the yes at location 5 with the string builder uh, buffer which is should be the same with string builder and see what's the difference. Let's run the code with string builder version, copy the text, test. Alright, so after you insert, I need to display what I insert. So let's do display, which I should do the same on the string buffer to display. Copy and rerun this program. So insert yes at five, right? Offset five. So that's the string builder. Now let's look at string buffer. So I did the same thing. So that's no difference, like I tell you, right? Like string can be another class that you can use, string buffer, string builder. But like I said it's good in threads when you use string buffer, right? Alright, so <coughs> we can do reverts. Not sure <coughs> if we have that method in. So after reverts, we're going to print out. Reverts. So it's reverts the string string buffer. Okay, we have that too on the string buffer. So it should do the same work. <coughs> so let's run with the builder version. String builder. So Java is fun. <coughs> now Java is fun capacity is gonna be sixteen by default because the length is small use the default and length is 12 then default 16 capacity java insert yes at index 5 right it's fun and do the reverts let's test with the string buffer all right so java is fun so the same capacity and did the reverts so String builder, string buffer, pretty much do the same thing, right? And if you want to test with your string, let me just create a string too. Like we have string builder, string buffer, and string, right? So I'm going to try to do pretty much the same code here. Okay, try not to add more methods. So this is a string class, an empty string. So we're going to compare to string buffer since we see string builder is the same as string buffer. So first, though the same, get input from keyboard, right?
but this is going to be, I'm going to copy pretty much everything to make it fast and paste. But we're not using string buffer, we're going to do pretty much control F. What do I find? Find the word buffer, and we're going to replace with nothing, with space pretty much. Maybe space, okay. Alright, so we have that. Alright, string, I just declare string, right? String equals to new string and print. So this is a string version, right? String dot tent. Alright, so that's one thing that's different, right? We we don't have to use the pen in string, we can just do a equals right string just equals to the text like that right if you append you just do plus equals right concatenate that right append so but I think string also have the method we call concat which is going to do the same just like that too if you just want to follow the same principle as string builder and string buffer correct so we do concat instead of the append <coughs> comparing back string buffer. <coughs> Alright, we print the text out. Now, does string has capacity? No, because string doesn't have that. String just has the length. Okay. So, we, we pretty much don't have the capacity. So, let's try to see if go through the Java doc. String has small methods, right? Those are the methods that string has. Index of, last index of, length, matches, region matches, replace, start with, substring, to uppercase, to lowercase, right? Which we don't see it in string buffer. Split, copy, format, value of. <coughs> okay, so we don't need a capacity. Okay, there's no capacity. String dot insert. Do we have insert? So let's look at what does it use. We don't have insert. Okay, but how are we going to insert something into a string at that location? So we have. We can specify the index like that. We can we can replace, but we don't want to replace. We want to insert substring. Okay, it says let's click. You can read this substring returns a new string that is substring of this string. Hmm, substring is actually not inserting. It's just take. A portion of the string out. Okay, like if you have hamburger, you do four to eight. It just give you burger back, right? Urge, see that? Zero, one, two, three, four, right? Starting from four, this is U. R G E, five, six, seven, not including eight. So, so that's substring. Right, so how about to lowercase? So we don't have insert. So you may see we don't have insert. How we go insert? We just do concat, right? But can we specify an index? may have to put more logic. That's why string builder and string buffer is better. In that case, you may have to put more logic to think about. So that's why string builder and string buffer is still a case to use if you want to do that. So we know that cannot insert in string class. So better use string builder or string buffer in 
Yes, yes, right? Now this is a good example that we compare now, right? So we gonna skip insert. Like some something string is better, like substring, like replace, right? But string also don't have reverts. See, you cannot revert. Now if I want you to revert a string, you have to implement the loop to the last index and revert, which is why don't just do string builder and string buffer and do dot reverts, right? So that is a good thing that string builder and string buffer have more advantage of right than using a string class. So that's why we still need them. So now we see the differences now, right, between string builder Right, for insert and reverts, we better use string. Now, comparing with the string itself, string builder and string buffer itself, so they are all exactly the same. They isolate, except string buffer is better to use when you use the multi threads, right? Programming. All right. So next. Next we see we have the, the characters, right? It has a class two. So let's take a look at the character class. So character is like a wrapper class for the char, right? Char is a primitive data type. So for the primitive data type that has a class, we call a wrapper class. So we got to do some demo about how to use characters class here. And character class has the method like is digit. Okay, so I think I will need this, close them all. Let me copy something to use, maybe the scanner. All right, so <coughs> so I'm going to read in an input from the user, and I want to know if the user enter something as a digit or not, right? How do we do that? So we need to instantiate the, char the characters, right, as a class use is it necessary if it's statics we don't need it but if it's non statics we don't need it so let's check let's check java doc okay so java doc actually tell you all m much more information than just the book or the slides okay but it's just Sometimes it's just too much information for the beginner, so that's why when you read the book, it's better. And then start to get used to Java Doc at the same time, then you can get more information. So I want to see if there are statics. See, have we talked about statics? Mean you don't need to instantiate, right? If there are statics, like is digit, I'm looking for is digit. The statics. So that means you don't need to instantiate here, right? Not necessary. So that means if I say uh, user input something, I'm going to put into the. Before we get digital input, let's say I'm going to say char letter equals to 5. Okay? So that's how you do the char with a single quote. Now we want to check is this the digit. So system dot out dot print line and say record dot is digit and pass in the letter. So now let's run the program and check. True, it's the digit. <coughs> 